Afternoon guys, I don't see any mics, so we just take a show of hands so we can keep some sort of order. We'll come to as many of you as we can. Start with James. Hi Ben. Uh, brilliant game from Ilkay there. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about his importance to him and also how on earth he would replace a player like that? Now you can show again and again and again the quality, his importance and his commitment to all of us, to the club. So not just scoring goals and now he has his momentum because against Leeds was the player today again. So yeah, he can do everything and everything do it well. He would leave a hole though. Sorry? You would leave a hole if or when he goes? Uh Nobody knows it's going to happen. Maybe stay, hopefully. Uh, you, you celebrated at the end like you felt you're almost there. You were particularly, when you were shaking your fist with supporters as you were leaving, it feels like this has been a, a huge step towards getting the, the title. Well, when I see Chelsea, Brighton and Bradford, still we have a lot of job to do. So I'm not thinking... Of course, it's, it was Fulham away and today away in between Champions League games. <laughs> it was a tricky one. Especially Everton. I was really impressed the way they handled the game against 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 Brighton. Um, but since the first minute we controlled the game, except some transitions, we let them run with the uh, Iwobi, Calvin Lewin, McNeil, but especially Dakure is a danger one. We come from more deeper. It's so, so difficult and every corner and freak, especially corner, they are the best team in the Premier League since Sean Dyke appointment. So it was in, in, in Burley, but he especially. It's almost a goal every time is a, you suffer a lot. Arsenal lose here for a one one corner. So I think it happened, but we had the patience, the momentum and the movements from Riyadh and, and Phil was really good in behind. and. Especially left side, in our left side we have more chance to attack because they close most our right. And uh, yeah, we score the goals in the right moment. And of course it's so important, it's nice to celebrate with our fans away because always they are with us here with the travel, it's not easy for them. And uh, yeah, we need two more games, we need six points to be champion, so three games left. We need two victories, hopefully next one at home against Chelsea. And and have a match ball in Brighton. You seem to um, have some words with Gary Mina and Conor Cody at the end. Well, with Cody, is, I know I'm a big fan and big admirer of him. Since balls, Gary Mina is not necessarily what he does. It's not necessary. With, uh, with Haaland? With everyone, so. Football game, not necessary to do what he does every single game. So, I told him, so. You are a good player enough to avoid to do these kind of things. Sam? I assume you'd like the club to do everything they can to keep Gundogan for next season. Sorry? Would you like the club to do everything they can to keep Gundogan for next season? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Have you told them that? I talk many things with the club, yeah. Yeah. And um, Real Madrid and Chelsea coming up is... Why well, is a dream come true being here, honestly? I know if at the end we don't get maybe the trophies that people say, yeah, is there a... A not good team, a failure team, or a team, but it's a dream come true in here. Only team in Europe to fighting for the whole competitions. We are FA Cup final with the United, and the still is not over. The Premier League is never end. We know it for the past with Liverpool. This season is the same. I think pretty sure Arsenal is going to win the two games they have in hand, and um, and being yeah semi final home with our people, second leg to try to reach the final Champions League. So. So we come from for the previous seasons is an extraordinary achievement. What we are doing, hopefully, we can finish well. Yes. Okay. Uh, just to be clear um, uh, on Yerimina, what exactly do you mean? Is he knows, he knows. Ask him to him, he knows. And also, we could see that uh, Erling and uh, Yeri had some uh, interactions during the game. Also, we talked about how Erling likes the physical aspect of the family, but how much do you no, that is not, that, this is not a, This is not about the physicality. It is not about fit. No, no mental, not either. So there are things it's not necessary to do it, and he does all the time with him, with Aime, with Jack, with everyone. It's not necessary. Is it crossing the line in terms of the physicality or the rules? Ask, ask him. Invite him to the press conference and ask him. 
Uh, if you stung Rodri, he seemed to pick up a knock. Really we'll be, we'll be, okay. we'll be okay on Wednesday. Yeah. Paul? Just on Ilkay, he's your captain this year. How seriously does he take that leadership role? And what kind of respect do you think he has uh, from his teammates? He doesn't talk much, but when he talks, everybody listens. And this is the power of the leader. And he shows his leadership in the, every training session, arriving in time, Living 24 hours a job and uh, and do and uh, and play like he's playing. So it's a guy like uh, close to the box, have an incredible sense of goal. He can do as a holding midfielder defensively without a problem. So he proved it years ago when Fernandinho was injured and and he played m a lot of times in that position in games. Like for example, I remember Burley. Like his long balls, like it looks like you need a, a physical holding midfielder. He's not that kind, but he's so intelligent, so clever, and he's a guy that <laughs> he handled the pressure really, really well. Uh, Ruben Diaz seems to relish that battle with Calvert-Lewin in the first half. Um, he's on really good form. How important has Ruben been, particularly since the World Cup? You see? His body language is exceptional. He's maybe one of the best players I've ever seen. His body language is for him and for his mates. He's always positive, he's always encouraged, always leading, talking. He played a lot of minutes already. He should need to be with rest. Well, he rests against Leeds, I, I guess. But it's important because it's not just playing him his game. He's playing the game for all back four. He's playing the game for the holding midfielder. And that's why it's so important for us. <laughs> so important. Okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. <coughs>